Okay, today's video might be very, I'm sure actually it will be, very controversial. This video is not to say that any of the suppliers that I used were good or bad. This isn't to, you know, throw shade at anyone. These are just my personal best and worst fragrance oils. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, I've got my very technical list on a random half sheet of paper that I found during my <coughs> planning of today's video. And let me see, should I start with the best or do I start with the worst? I'm actually not sure. Okay, I think I'm gonna, let me start with the best. I'll start with the best. Now, if you are interested in seeing like my full breakdown as I test out new fragrance oils, I do plan to have an entire document guide focusing on um, reviewing fragrance oils. If you would like access to that growing document, you can visit my Patreon down below. Again, stay to the end to get my very secret best selling fragrance oil. Now, these are my top favorite. They are in no particular order, um, but they're just the ones that I instantly think of when I think about a good smelling fragrance oil. The number one, my OG, well again, they're not in any order, but the first one that I always, always think of, the OG, the one that never disappoints, is Peach Prosecco from Brambleberry. It just smells so great and it lasts forever. It, it's wonderful. I feel like it's a very versatile fragrance oil. You can put it in tons of different things. I have used it in cold process soap. It was really nice the whole way through the bar. I've also used it in not a candle form, but as a wax melt and it just it smells so great. My next fragrance is the pink sugar type. I've tried this from very, very many um, suppliers. Basically any supplier that I could find, I've purchased it and used it. None of them have been bad, but the one that I find myself going to the most is from Nature's Garden. Again, they're all great. I haven't experienced a bad one, but that one is just, that one's just my fave. They all smell the same, but I just really enjoy the one from nature's garden the most. Now this next one is such a good one for wax melts and it lasts forever. I'm telling you, it lasts forever. This is the one that I always have in like my personal wax melters at my house or my wax warmers at my house. I always get compliments on it. Everyone, including my husband's friends, always, always, always compliment me on it. And it is Cashmere Forest from fragrance buddy and let me check i don't actually know if it's skin safe i haven't tried it on a skin product it's just a great great smell it smells fresh it smells clean it smells good i could see it going either way in tons of different products but again it lasts forever in wax melt kind of an unsuspecting favorite of mine is the sweet orange and pomegranate from Wholesale Supplies Plus. And I've always kind of felt like Wholesale Supplies Plus has a great variety, but I personally, in my opinion, think that sometimes their fragrance oils don't match like the scent profile that they give or like the name of the scent on their website. But this one, it just smells so good. Now, I don't smell pomegranate in it, but that again, could just be me. It just smells like the nicest and freshest orange. It smells so, so good. I love it in soap. I actually used it in this soap that I have here. It's just, it smells fabulous, highly recommend. Especially if you're looking for just an overall clean smell and not, you know, perfumey or floral or anything like that. It's just a really great versatile fragrance. Oh, and this one. Okay, I've, now. If you like Bath & Body Works sweater weather, you have to hear me loud and clear on this one. There are tons of terrible sweater weather type fragrances out there. The And I, I've tried all of them. The absolute best one, best one, hands down, comes from Fragrance Buddy. I'm telling you, it smells exactly like the Bath & Body Works with no extra notes in it or no side notes, but I don't know, whatever you wanna call it. It just smells amazing. Highly love, ah, I just love that one so much. Now let's turn the page to our least favorites. <laughs> 
our least favorites. So again, this is no shade to any of these suppliers. I have ordered and will continue to order from every single one of them. But you know, as you know, sometimes a product is better than another product and sometimes a product is worse than another product. So the first one I wanna start with is Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin Type from Fragrance Bunny. I bought this because the Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin from Bath & Body Works has always been my go-to favorite aside from sweater weather. Usually in my house, y'all probably don't care, but we usually have both of those burning at the same time. It just smells so good. So I bought that with really high hopes. When I tell you it smells really, really bad, I mean, I threw it away after I smelled it one time. It is awful. It's just, it's just not good and I'm gonna leave that one there and move on. Next up is Candy Cane from Brambleberry, but before you come for me, I need you to understand why I don't like it. It smells exactly like a candy cane, okay? As you can tell from the title of the fragrance, Candy Cane, it smells exactly like it. The scent lasts forever. But unfortunately for me, it's a hard pass because I used it to make one single loaf of cold processed soap back, back in the very beginning of my soap making journey. I found out a week later that I was expecting my third child and the smell of that just, if you know, you know, I just couldn't. And everywhere I went in my house, I felt like I could smell it, which is a good thing, right? It speaks highly of like the quality of the fragrance oil, but I just cannot with that fragrance. It brings back all of those memories. And again, if you know, you know, and if you don't. Next up is Nature Gardens, Seattle's best, world's best coffee. It smells like the strongest, pot of coffee you'll ever have in your life, but it like permeates and never disappears. Um, I love coffee, I'm a coffee drinker. I enjoy myself a good cup of coffee every single day, twice a day usually, but that fragrance to me, I don't know what it is. It feels like it's gonna give me a migraine and I get those often, so take that with a grain of salt. Maybe you will love it. Uh, maybe you'll love any of these or hate any of the ones that I love, but just in my opinion, that one is not a good one. Next up comes from Fragrance Buddy as well, and that one is called November Rain. I can't put my finger on it, but I just don't like it. I don't, and I don't know why, but I, I'm just, I'm really not a fan, not a fan at all. And finally, my last one that I am not a fan of that I will not repurchase is from Nature's Garden and it is the Chocolate Fudge. In theory, it sounds amazing, right? Like I know, it sounds amazing. But the smell, it just, there's something off about it. I can't quite put my finger on it, but it's just not a fragrance that I personally enjoy, though I am a chocolate lover. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure what it is. I can't. Let's go ahead and reveal my secret best selling fragrance. And that is Brambleberry's Lavender and Cedar Fragrance Oil. That one smells so good. And it is traditionally my best selling or the fragrance that is most often chosen when purchasing products from my shop. It smells so good. It smells like lavender, but it smells like lavender, but like an upgraded, like more elegant lavender because you can definitely smell that hint of cedar in it. It smells so good. It's very relaxing. I love the smell of cedar. So again, for me, like this whole video is based on me. It just overall is an amazing fragrance. I love it and I will always continue to buy it. And with that, we have the end of today's video. Let me know what you think in the comments, though I know you guys aren't shy when you disagree with something that I'm saying, so you'll have to let me know. And if you have any best ones that I need to try, I would love to hear that. If you um, love all the ones that I hate, let me know. Maybe I need to be doing something like a little bit more with them, give them another shot. Um, just let me know what you guys think down below. Check out my Patreon if you're interested in getting that fragrance oil review sheet, especially if you agree with me on any of these things. We probably vibe really well, so you'll uh, really get the most out of that fragrance oil page. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.